In this video lesson, we're going to learn to focus using oil immersion microscopy or 1000 magnification. Now, before we get to the actual focusing, let's review a couple things we learned in the preliminary video, the preliminary tips to help you get ready to use the microscope. Remember, before we plug the microscope in, we check to make sure that the light intensity knob right here is all the way down to one. If it's not down to one, then put it down to one before you plug it in by turning it counterclockwise. At that point, you can plug the microscope in. Then we can use the on-off switch to turn it on. And then we take the light intensity control knob and we slowly turn that all the way up to six and we leave it there. Next, we want to place the slide in the slide holder of the mechanical stage. So again, since we are using 1000 magnification or oil immersion microscopy, we need to add a drop of immersion oil to the area of the slide where we'll be viewing. Now, once we have our drop of oil on the slide, then we can push this knob back to open up the arm, place the slide all the way back in the slide holder and release the arm. And then using these two stage control knobs, we can position the slide over the light source where we're going to be viewing the slide. Next, we want to make sure that the iris diaphragm lever under the stage, the lever that determines how much light actually comes through the slide and up into the eyepiece, is set so that we have enough light to see the image, but not so much light that it washes the image out. So as we mentioned in the preliminary steps uh, video, this lever goes left and right. We want to have that set at about 0.9. That's usually a good starting point for using oil immersion microscopy. And we want to make sure that the condenser is all the way up so that if someone was messing with it and got lowered, that it is all the way up. There's a knob over here that controls that. At this point, we're ready for the most critical step when it comes to focusing with oil immersion microscopy. What we need to do is to raise the stage until the oil immersion objective just touches the oil on the slide, but no further than the point where it just touches. And this is going to be done using the coarse focus of the microscope, the large knob on either side. Now what we're going to be doing in this step is taking the coarse focus, slowly turning it away from you, which raises the stage, we're going to do this very slowly while getting our eyes down where we can see what's happening and watch the interface between the lens and the drop of oil. So we slowly raise the stage like I'm doing now, watching the drop of oil. And when the lens just hits the drop of oil, you see the light kind of scatter like you see there. Let me go through that one more time. Again, we're going to take the coarse focus the big knob on either side. We're going to turn it away from you, which raises the stage, raising it away from you. Raise the stage, carefully watching the interface between the lens and the oil, turning it up slowly. And when the lens just touches the oil, you see the light scatter, just like we see there. Now we have to be careful we don't turn it any further than that. You have to watch that very carefully. If you keep turning even just a little bit, you might have already gone beyond focus. But if you're not in the oil, uh, we're too high up and it's going to take too long to find anything. So that's kind of a critical step that you'll want to practice a few times. Raising the stage slowly, watching carefully for the lens to just touch the oil and the light scatter. And at that point, we're ready for the actual focusing where we should see the image come into focus. Now that we have the oil immersion lens in the drop of oil, just touching the oil, we're ready to use the fine focus, the small skinny knob on either side of the microscope to get the image in where we can see it clearly. We're going to be doing that by turning the fine focus away from you, 
which is going to raise the stage until it comes into focus. Right now we're just a little above focus. We want to raise the stage until it comes into focus. So when we're ready to do that, put your eyes down near the eyepieces. Adjust the eyepieces so that you're seeing one image with two eyes. Get done with all your blinking and your head bobbing so you're ready to concentrate. Put your hand on the fine focus and you're going to slowly turn it away from you. Slow lazy turns like we see here. So just slow lazy turns. Concentrating intently until you see some color kind of flash by letting you know the image is in focus or just went past focus. And once you see it, then get it into sharp focus. The biggest mistake made during this stage of focusing is turning the knob too fast, turning it like that. If you turn it that fast, your eyes will never even register that the image just came into focus and left focus. The difference between seeing the image very clearly and seeing nothing is about half of a turn, if that much, of the fine focus. So if you're turning too rapidly, the image goes by, it doesn't even register in your eyes. Uh, if you go extremely slow, it takes forever to find it. But if you do nice, slow, lazy turns of the eyepiece like that, and get in the habit of getting that speed down, then you'll almost always see it when it comes into focus. Now finally, if you notice you've been turning quite a while, and you haven't seen anything, maybe 30 seconds or so, you might have already gone past the image and you missed it. In which case you want to lower the stage again, get it out of the oil, raise it up again, repeat the previous step where we get it where it's just touching the oil, and then start again with the fine focus, turning it slowly away from you until you see it coming into view. And try at least two or three times doing that that way before you ask for help. So make sure you're getting all the steps in and you're getting a feel for it. Finally, once you have the image in focus, we do want to play with the light a little bit. And to do that, again, we use the iris diaphragm lever under the stage. The lever that slides to the left and to the right that controls how much light comes through. This is what really creates contrast and allows us to see the image more clearly. If you have a very heavy smear with dark stain on it, it may take more light to the left to be able to see it clearly. If you have a light smear with a lighter dye, the light may be washing out the image and you may have to reduce the light by moving the lever to the right to get contrast. So every time we focus, we always just play with the lever a little bit, try it a little bit, increasing the light, decreasing the light until it looks as clear as you can get it to look with your eyes keeping in mind that you may have to re-tune uh, the fine focus a little bit as you're doing that. When we're finally done for the day, we need to put the microscope away correctly. So first thing is make sure that you remove any slides from the microscope. Don't leave them on the microscope when you put it away. If it's a slide you made, those are disposable, so they'll go in the broken glass container. If it's a prepared slide that we're providing, then return the slide to the appropriate tray. Now it's very important that we remove the oil from the oil immersion lens using lens paper, which will be provided, of course. So when we're ready for that stage, i lower the stage and wipe the oil off the oil immersion lens with the lens paper. Then we're going to take the light intensity control knob Turn that back down to one. Turn the microscope off. And at that point, we're going to unplug it. And then we're going to wrap the cord around the cord holder. And we're going to then tuck it in so that it doesn't come loose. Then, of course, we can grab the top of the scope with one hand and grab under the bottom of the scope with the other and use that to lift the scope and put it back away in the cabinet so that the eyepieces are facing you.